So yeah, we are on the struggle bus real bad over here. (laughs) Every time we talk, it just feels like we're talking in circles. We don't get anywhere. I also feel like he talks at me a lot. There's not a lot of follow-up questions. It's just like vague questions and that's it. Um, Michelle, he doesn't really know how to communicate and ask you about things yet, but because he doesn't know you. Yeah, I feel like I'm always being the bad guy, you know what I mean? Because he's like, everything's fine, no big deal. And I'm like, I just like, I'm, this is obviously not the marriage I wanted to be in. Like, yeah. and I'm like, I hate how I feel that way. Like, I don't want to keep like harping and like going over and over and over again. But also like, how do we get to know each other if like we're not having these conversations? But like, it feels like I wake up every day and I'm like, here we go. I'm going to be the bad guy again. Oh, like, no. that sucks, yeah. you know? But I'm hoping that he's understanding why you have these emotions, why you feel this way. Because you're not crazy for feeling the way that you yeah. do, and you're not the bad guy. Yeah. And right. neither Thank is you. he. No, you're not And neither all. is he. Right. And neither yeah, is he. Right. He's not the bad no, guy. No, he's not. So it's just about finding out yeah. how you guys can both get on the same yeah. page. Has anything else popped up as like a big big red flag that's kind of added to that? Yesterday, we got into like a really hard conversation and I was like, okay, I need a moment. Like, yeah, can we pause and can I have a moment? And he's like, yeah. But then he's like, okay, like I'm gonna go to the pool. Like when you're done having your break, can you text me? And in my mind, I'm like, no, I want the whole day. (laughs) But he's like, you get five minutes and then you're back on the clock, lady. And so like, I think like we just like don't communicate well. And so then like, you know, like I didn't, he was like, text me, he's like, I'm at this pool. Like, do you want to come meet me there? And I just like, I don't, I I didn't, and I didn't respond and that's on me. And then, then he's calling me, like keeps calling me, like trying to check and I'm like, I need a break. Yeah. I think in Michelle's marriage, if this is going to work for her, I think she has to readjust her focus and try to start looking at things more in the glass half full. She definitely just has to get out of her own head and attack things from just a purely positive lens. He really is trying to read you for sure. And like, he wants to like make you comfortable while also like still being a partner. My advice maybe to you is like, ask him some more deeper questions. I think that'll help at least build a little bit of a foundation. 